it's a rivalry game, and I think anytime you walk away from a game like this, uh, you know, whether you win by one or 12 like we did today, or, you know, if you're ever fortunate enough that you run it out to a, a big lead and win, um, the only thing that you really care about in this rivalry game is a win. And, uh, you know, we knew that it was going to be incredibly tough. I, I told our kids the other day, you need to be about 10 points better than them to take away home court advantage. It's always, you know, tough to get calls when you're on the road. So I really felt like we need to be about 10 points better. Um, you know, we didn't shoot it well. Uh, you know, they didn't shoot it well. Um, one of my assistant coaches um, likened it to a rock fight uh, where two teams were just throwing sort of rocks at the rim and, and they were bouncing off. But um, I, I do think that um, we did a very good job rebounding. And we have, that was a huge emphasis for us heading into this week, uh, actually heading into the last two weeks. And, uh, you know, we did a nice job for us. And I think it's one of the big reasons that we won the game. You stayed ahead most of the game, but Frankie here in the fourth quarter just kind of emerged as just I mean, the best player on the court. There aren't many seniors running around on the floor today, if you didn't know. Uh, you know, for either team. And, uh, you know, she was one of them. And, uh, you know, I just, I mean, there is something about being a senior. You either run to the moment or you run away from the moment in the Hope Calvin game. You're either afraid to lose one of your last games against a big rival or you refuse to lose one of your last games to your rival. And I thought that she ran to the challenge all day long today. From the very beginning, uh, she was on the glass all day long. I mean, 25 points, 13 rebounds. That is an amazing Hope Calvin game. That, I mean, that will go down as one of the great games that we've had a post player play against Calvin. So yeah, excited she was with us today. <laughs> Frank, your thoughts on just what was going on in your mind that fourth quarter? You had four consecutive layups that, that went from a five-point uh, lead for you guys to 13 pretty quick. So, <laughs> And you were a big part of that. So what, what was going on there? Yeah, I think it's a lot like Mo said. Like, I just, I did not want to lose. Like, there was no part of me that wanted to go home and ride the bus home thinking, like, we could have won. Because, like, you know, we played a great game in the first half, and um, that tumbled over a little bit in the second. And they had a couple runs here and there, and I was like, we are not losing this game. And so I think just my mentality of like, all right, let's go, let's get it together. And um, I told the girls like coming out, I was like, you guys, like they're gonna come out wanting to play hard and wanting to like beat us into the ground. And I was like, we need to do that. We need to work hard. We need to slow down on um, offense and pick it up on D. And um, it kind of goes back to like um, last or Wednesday's game. I was like, energy, energy, energy. And we had a lot of it, I think, going into this game and um, just in warm ups and whatnot. And I think that has really shown the difference between like the beginning of the year games and like our games now is our energy has just picked up before and during the game.